Our Lady, Mother of the Church, Saint Joseph, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The words spoken in the Gospel by Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, on the day of the resurrection in the evening, receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. The Holy Spirit came upon the apostles and enabled them to administer that wonderful but forgotten sacrament of confession. How often do we have people wanting to confess their sins, but unfortunately are not able to have access to priests. This is why we experience today an apostasy perhaps like no other. Sins are being constantly committed and Jesus has given the priesthood that faculty, that sacrament, in order that they can forgive the sins of his people. Tomorrow we celebrate Mary, Mother of the Church. It is an obligatory memorial implemented by a decree from the Vatican on February the 11th, 2018. Mary is constantly calling us to be her children. To be her children, many of us need to go to a priest simply because if you want Mary as your mother and to be her, her son or her child, you need to rid yourself of the serious sins which are so prevalent and regarded as being normal today. Sins against chastity, all those sins, sins against nature and also mortal sins. Therefore, let us look more closely and pray for our priests in order that they minister this sacrament. The sacrament it is also possible for those who are dying, who are in coma. I say in coma because a conditional absolution can be given. Recently, I attended a dying man and the dying man, I was told only yesterday at the funeral, had sought very much forgiveness of God, but he hadn't been going to confession. That in itself, that intention, that's why a priest needs to be called, because his intention was there, and when the priest went, he was able to give that absolution. Well, let us consider other factors in today, which we need to do. St. Louis Green de Montford, known to many of you because of the 30-day consecration to Our Lady, was one who promoted the rosary, not fiercely, but asking people to come and pray with him. And it was noted that when he did pray the rosary, that people were coming to confession. They go hand in hand. The mysteries of the rosary is the gospel of Jesus in many little ways. It tells the life of Jesus, but it's Mary who is leading us to her son, to that sacrament of confession. Promote the rosary at home because the Holy Spirit operates. As you know, as we read also earlier, when the Holy Spirit came, it was Mary who was praying with the apostles, the priests. And then it, it, it is through Mary that came this wonderful feast day of Pentecost, which enables us to celebrate what the church now has given us as the beginning of the church. So the church came about through Mary's prayer, as did also the incarnation of Jesus. Mary prayed and the Holy Spirit came, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, and the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. We cannot separate Our Lady from this relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is even regarded that Mary is visible 
the Holy Spirit is invisible, but together we see that when Our Lady does address as she did with Elizabeth, when she greeted Elizabeth, the Holy Spirit moved in the womb, in the person, the unborn child of six months, John the Baptist, and he was baptised. And then that great joy which was given by him leaping also brought about the conversion and sanctification of his mother. Turn to Mary, she will give you the Holy Spirit by way of her intercessory role. She will bring you to Jesus faster than any other way and she is the one who we celebrate tomorrow as mother of the church. She is the mother of each one of us but we need to be good children and go to confession to enable the operation of the Holy Spirit to work in us so that we also can proclaim the word of God and bring about the salvation of many, many, many people who are yearning to hear the truth and to be drawn back into the Catholic Church, the one true faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs>